Good morning, dear ones, and happy Wednesday. It's the middle of the week. Only two more days to the weekend. I hope you're all doing something beautiful for yourself and self-loving. So today we are continuing with the 12 universal laws and we are continuing with number two, which is the law of vibration. And this law states that everything in the universe moves, vibrates and travels in circular patterns. The same principles of vibration in the physical world apply to our thoughts, our feelings, our desires and our wills in the etheric world. Each sound, thing and even thought has its own vibrational frequency that is unique to itself. It is a fact that the earth itself has a frequency and a pulse similar to a heartbeat. Since 1980, this resonance has been slowly ri rising from 7.8 cycles per second and has hit 16 and a half cycles in April 2015. It therefore stands to reason that each and every one of us vibrates at our own frequency dictated by the energy centers that are our chakras and that thought is a frequency too. It can therefore be likened to everything in and around a pond. What we do has a ripple effect and affects everything else, no matter how small we think we are. Like a boomerang, the thought vibrations we send out will move in a circular motion and return to us. The Earth, Earth has actually been the focus of a massive amount of scientific study over the years, from the shrinking ozone layer to the changes in our planet's magnetic field. There's plenty to keep researchers busy. And one possibly surprising area of research is in the way in which the Earth acts like a giant electrical circuit. The atmosphere of the Earth is actually a weak conductor. And if there was no source of electrical charge for the atmosphere, its energy would dissipate in about 10 minutes it doesn't. The ionosphere is the region of the Earth's atmosphere that stretches roughly from 30 to 620 miles or 50 to 1000 kilometers above the surface along with the upper atmosphere and forms a boundary between Earth's lower atmosphere and the back vacuum of space. So what this means is that the Earth actually has a, a pulse, it's got a heartbeat and it is said uh, and scientists theorize that because we are of the earth and our vibrations are linked to the earth, that uh, if should we be away from the earth for a prolonged period of time, um, our bodies would know this and uh, it, would, it would affect us on a health point of view. Um, if anybody would like to have any more information on this, it is called the Schumann Residence, S-C-H-U-M-A-N-N. Um, what is the Schumann Residence? It is the resonance of the Earth. So when we look at um, the Earth itself on a spiritual point of view, the Earth has its own chakras as well. And as we, as a people, as a populace, as, as um, inhabitants of this planet, so as we change the planet and we change our consciousness, uh, collectively, uh, we do actually change the resonance, the heartbeat of our planet as well. And when we're looking at uh, the law of vibration, um, everything in the universe has a frequency and a vibration. Nothing ever stands still, as everything is always either being pushed away or pulled towards something, like the weather. That's the only reason that wind exists is because of high pressures and low pressures. And of course, we've got the Coriolis force and et cetera, et cetera. So all of those things are going to make a difference to our daily lives, to the vibration of us on the planet. And of course, because we're all one and one with the divine and one with our planet and a part of it, our if, if we collectively, as a collective consciousness, um, are more enlightened, so therefore then our uh, frequency of the earth will also change and will um, be in accordance with that. Furthermore, items of a similar vibration are attracted to each other. So to use this law to manifest your desires, you must match your vibration with that of what you want. So when we are vibrating at a frequency of fear, anger, um, and all of the negative emotions, we are attracting those emotions and more, um, more 
more reasons for us to feel those emotions, more of that frequency. However, when we are vibrating from a place of love, light, happiness, joy, uh, and unconditional gratitude, um, we will attract more of that. So vibrations attract each other. And you can look at this on a scientific point of view as well. So that's why I said yesterday that science and spirituality are exactly the same thing. It's just a different expression or a different viewpoint or perspective. We remember we spoke about perspective and being able to see this and being able to see this. Okay, so bearing in mind, of course, that there is a, um, a scientist also in Japan, um, Masaru Hashimoto, I think, if I'm not mistaken, I will also put another link to his work um, in, in this description as well. And what he is doing is he is actually researching the effect of thoughts or even just labels on the crystalline makeup of water so what he does and as i say i will link it to you to, for you is he puts the water into little containers and he labels them he doesn't even say anything to them but he labels them love hate fear etc and you can see the difference in the way that the crystal structure um, changes according to the frequency that of the word so for instance um there's a difference in the crystalline structure before prayer and after prayer. Uh, there's a difference in thank you and I will kill you. There's a difference within um, hate and fear and love and peace, etc., etc. All of those different emotions and labels. Or he plays them some music like a Mozart symphony or Imagine by John Lennon. So I will, I will link for these as well. And then the other thing as well that I need to... Um, remind you of is that when scientists um, look at the structure of tears underneath a microscope there is a completely different structure for tears that are shed in joy you know when you're laughing so hard that the tears are running down your face those tears are very very different to tears of grief to tears of fear um, and to, to tears of joy or just, um, for instance, when, when, when your eyes tear because it's so cold or something like that. So we need to understand that we can only change ourselves. So we need to change the frequency at which we are vibrating in order to effect change like the ripple of the pond in all of the other people around us. Uh, we cannot change anyone else we can only change ourselves. So what are you doing today to create the crystalline structure in your body that is beautiful and is in accordance with love? What are you doing today to love yourself more and more? What vibrations are you sending out? What frequency are you vibrating at? And is it a, a frequency that you would like to perpetuate? Is it something that you want it to propagate more of? Or are you wanting to shy away from the vibrations that you are, from the frequency that you're vibrating at? So dear ones, today and every day, take these laws to heart and see how these laws can, and understanding them can change the way that you react that you deal with life and that you understand how things work. So once again, love and light to you all. Four agreements, five Reiki principles. Love yourself first and that vibration will be sent out to others and you will see it coming back to you. Make today count. <laughs>